Give me some of your tiers here in the landscape of the National League. Well, I think the Dodgers are still kind of a cut above the rest though the Mets in my opinion right below them you see they're in tier two but I think the Mets are the best of those tier two teams Brewers Padres kind of up and coming as well I'm undecided on the, the fate of these tier three teams Giants Cardinals Braves in particular really underperforming I think the Giants are mostly a product of their division and you can see just outside those top three tiers we have the Cincinnati Reds at approximately what nine ninety eight million two hundred and 234,058. I'm sorry, Reds fans. Maybe next year. Maybe in 10 years. I'm a little more generous on the tiers. I, I think there's four good, uh, really good teams in the National League, and I think yeah, you know the most are at the top as the division style. Mets, Dodgers, Brewers. And I, you can't forget about the Braves. And I tiered up the second one. I think the Cardinals, Giants, Padres, and I'm a little generous on those Phillies. I'm not completely convinced that they're going to be there, but you can't count them out. Marlins might sneak in there, but I think that's the, the clear division to make. Yeah, and I got to put the Dodgers to cut above everybody else, as Britt did. I still think they're the favorites. Uh, just best all-around team, maybe in baseball. I'm putting the Mets, Braves, and Brewers as the teams that I think they have a realistic chance to win a championship. And then the next tier down is a team. A lot of things would have to happen right for them to win it all. Yeah, I mean, I love what Duke is saying. I'd love to see the Mets get to that top tier, but I agree with Harp and Britt. I don't think they're there yet. They still have some work to do. It's probably the Dodgers and then everybody else. In that, well, not everybody, but the Mets in that second tier.